Hello again, Leftover Remains here, and I want to make a couple things clear before I start this tutorial. On the walk main character, oh yeah, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I already touched it up, but I took out the WS and D selected equals true and the false, and I just put it in as left is equal to down and all that. Last time I was a little excited to get back into doing tutorials, so I kind of uh, just zoned out and just threw a bunch of stuff together. But anyway, this by itself right here will work perfectly. You don't need WCD because it's already saying if left is down because if uh, this is true, then regardless of what is selected, either left error or left uh, WCD, it will actually act as that because it says left is selected to A so you don't need to tell it again to tell it to do the same thing it's already doing so let's close that again and let's go back to the main character I want to get rid of that because I finally got something for the other game that I did uh, the Metro game so I'm gonna throw that in right now and uh, I'm gonna use the main character the new model for the character here. So I'll start with this. And then again, you could use a GIF, uh, a GIF file, that way you'd be able to uh, throw it all in together. And then the last one here. Where is it? It was right. What's the difference? Did I get that one already? Nope. Okay, good. So I'll just delete this now. And uh, I'm going to try to make sure that I'm going to move that over so that the walk is a little more fluid. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in there. So now he's walking all fast. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to change this to 175. If I put it to 200, he's going to walk really slow. And if I put it at 150, that's not slow enough. So I'm just going to set it to... 175. And that'll give it the nice range we're looking for. And I'm going to change this. I'm going to call it right for the name. And I'm going to go into collisions. I'm going to want to size it down a little bit. So I'm going to try, let's say, 10. Yeah, that looks good. The top, I'm, let's say I'll bring it down to maybe 4. All right. The width, I don't want it that long. So I'll change it to, let's say, 15. Maybe uh, 10. Yeah, that's about right. And for the height, I'll put it to, uh, let's see, 4 minus 32. That should be 28. All right. And uh, we're going to also want to make a main character group here. That way we'll be able to have the main character stuff and have enemies hit other things. So if you use bullets, you don't want your main character to be shooting himself all the time. So I'm going to set it to tiles, actors, and players, so the main character can touch everything but himself right now. And then it's not in here, so you're going to click Control R, it'll refresh it, and then now it'll pop up right there. I'm going to go back into there, and I'm going to duplicate it right down here, and I'm going to title it left, and I'm going to come down here to this little gear, and I'm going to click it, and it's going to say flip horizontal, and now it's opposite. And I also want to have him just stand there. I don't want him walking all the time. So I'm going to call it uh, left stand. And I'm going to get rid of everything else other than that single stand. I'm going to do the same thing for that. I'll call it right stand. I'll get rid of that and that. Oop. What the? Yeah, I'll get rid of that. All right, so now we have a nice uh, little posture here. So I'm gonna want to, I don't want him to be walking when we start, so I'm gonna set it to right stand. I'm gonna click this little star. That means that it's gonna be able to, uh, when the scene starts, he's gonna look like that. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna want to make sure that he's in the scene properly. All right, there he is. I'm going to go back to the main character and I'm going to start touching up some stuff here. So I'm going to want to go to the walk main character. And now I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff because I don't need this. 
and I'm going to go type in anima which will bring me up to animation and I'll bring a couple in there just throw them in like that and if it's down then it'll be left walk if right is down it'll be right walk if left was re released it'll be left stand and if right was released it'll be right stand Oop. I always have to make sure that spelling is proper otherwise the script won't understand what the hell you're talking about All right and now we'll give it a try so when we start it up I got the WS and D selected I feel kind of like slow right now like I'm talking like at a super slow boring pace you know and he falls down isn't that beautiful you know why because we forgot one thing to do we forgot to change it to no rotation that way he'll walk but he won't trip over himself like he just did so let's try that again oh yeah that's that is just awful <sighs> All right. let me see here real quick uh, oh I know exactly why before I even did anything I know exactly what's wrong yes left walk and right walk you have to make sure that this name is equal to this name otherwise it won't work it'll just be like uh I don't understand what you're trying to do and you don't want your game to tell you that all right look at that stuff look at that action isn't that uh oh yeah that's good stuff anyway so now we're gonna want to have a jump cycle and like I was talking about last we're gonna have the y speed set to a negative so I'm just gonna go to negative five and I'm gonna make another attribute actually I'm gonna do that attributes getters I'm gonna call it jump set it to control click OK now I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna get a setter also because I'm gonna have to set that up as well and I'm also gonna have to go back into the settings go into controls I have an up arrow so I'm gonna retitle that and now I need to make a W so I'm gonna title that jump W Oops, yeah. there we go and there we go click OK and we're gonna wanna click control R again just so that we have that um, re polished up that one's fine this one I'll change it to jump W I'll we'll just plop it right in there and there. Now, a couple things here. We're going to want this set Y speed if it's jumped. So let's do that right now. If jump, I need to get. Uh, if, oh, if jump was pressed, what am I doing? I could just click. There we go. Alright, so if jump was pressed, do that but we have a couple problems if we just do that well let me show you what I'm talking about that way you understand what I'm getting at come on you dang mouse Let's scroll it down. all right so if you just throw it in like that and you just had it like that this is what's gonna happen and you don't want this to happen because this is just a nightmare and I totally didn't set it high enough so let's set it to let's set it to down let's set it to 15 let's test it again because the gravity is a little strong so see it you can just kind of bounce up and down and then you drop and you don't want that you want him to be able to either double jump or just to be able to you know have one jump and that's it or you don't want him to fly off to you know Uranus over here so let's close that now let's take this out and let's see um, why well, reset all my stuff that's really weird okay let's re-implement this alright and jump up yes okay that was weird I wonder why I did that anyway we're also going to want to make a attribute here or a animation so let's take this right one for the right and then let's take and call it right jump and we can use let's say I kinda like that one so let's get rid of these and leave that one and then I'll duplicate it 
and I'll title it left jump and then I'll just flip it again saves me a little time there and I'm gonna go into the walk and I'm gonna put this control here I don't want this collision because I don't want him to always jump so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it and then I'm gonna get an and and then I'm gonna get this collision down here and if the bottom was hit that way he can't double he can't double jump but at least he won't be flying all over the place you know so we'll save it and then we'll test it again and as you can see he can only jump that now of course you can change the height because this is a dinky little jump but in comparison to how big he is that's kind of what a human probably would be jumping little more so so I mean we can go back and say we want to jump 45 every time we press or every time the jump is down so we're gonna go back and test it again and boom with that he's jumping like he's on the moon is that amazing oh, yes anyway so there was something I forgot to mention um I just remembered it after I finished so I forgot to put in the jump animation so I already did that I went into the walk character and I na I had two uh, I had to add an attribute there so I put a jumping is equal to true so here you can see that if the I uh, went and I can't remember if I put this in or not but I'll just refresh your memory in case I didn't I went to collisions and I clicked something else and then I came here and I went down to collisions and then the bottom of actor was so the bottom of actor was hit then set jumping to false and if the jump was pressed such as how we already did it with the attribute and the getter then and the bottom was hit that way you don't keep jumping up then the y speed is minus 45 just for this test of course and do after is after 0.1 seconds you'll set it to true now over here in the jumping I put two new scripts um, I put everything as it is and I just added this down here and jumping equals to false so if it's on the ground if he's uh, if he's getting touched by the tiles and whatnot then he's gonna be walking just like normal but if the jumping is true then it's gonna show that if the right was pressed or is down then the right jump will happen if the right if the left is down or is pressed then the left jump will happen and then afterwards if I release either of the buttons then he won't just sit there and well let me give you an example here so if I remove this part of the script you'll see that he just kinda sticks like that and then he'll walk if you uh, if you don't touch anything he just kinda you have to move him to make his animation fix so by putting this in that means that after 0.1 seconds, regardless of what he's doing, even if he's jumping, even if he's on the ground, he'll immediately let go. So you can walk like that. Same with that. So the it kind of stays fluid, you know. There's a little bit of a lag, but it's not too bad. You can adjust the time that is recognized, so he can recognize it sooner, or the game can recognize it sooner. That uh, that way, there isn't as much of a lag so he doesn't look like he's pausing when he finishes his jump. You can also add in a jump or a, a landing animation, but I think right now this will be good. Again, thanks for watching.